Hi my little rainbows, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your very own custom overlay using Pixlr E. This is a free photo editing website that you can use on the web. The link for it will be in the description. The first thing you wanna do is press create new and then click full HD. Uh, and then after go to name and just name it anything you want. So I'm just gonna call this overlay. Next, you will have this canvas right here. The next thing you wanna do is search for the overlay you want on Google. So I'm just gonna go ahead and search for a star PNG. So I'm gonna make a star overlay. So I'm just going to click on one of the stars that I like. So I like this one. So I am going to right click and then press copy image, then go back to my photo editing website and then press command V or control V if you're on a Windows computer. I'm just going to size this down to about here that looks good and put it in the center of the canvas next i'm going to go to edit and then fill and then i'm going to change the color of the object so i'm going to press the color option and i'm just going to change it to a pink and i already have one saved right here so i'm going to use that and as you can see, there's like a little like yellow border that happens sometimes when you're using weirder models because in the original image, you have this little like line here. So it's going to mess up. So what I usually do is just go to filter, inner glow, click on the color option and click the eyedropper on the star, then press OK and click apply. Next, I'm going to click on inner glow again. And this time I'm going to up the size and I'm also going to put feather all the way out. I'm going to click on the color and I'm going to do a dark uh, red or a dark pink. And then go to opacity and just put it down and just adjust it until you get something that you like. One thing I also enjoy doing is going to filter and then bevel and um, and you can make really cool effects like this. So I'm just going to put the opacity down. It's like a 3D star now, but I don't really want to add that. I just like it smooth like this. So the next thing I'm just going to do is go to filter, outline, and I'm just going to add a simple white outline around it. Make sure it's nice and big because we're going to be sizing this down. So now we can actually get to the overlay part. So I'm going to size it down. And then I'm just going to put it right over here and I'm also just going to tilt it a little bit like this. And then I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to just rotate it and place it all around the board. So I'm just going to continue like this. just get it to a good stage in which you like it then i'm going to go to the top layer press the three dots and then click flatten image and now everything is just one image then you're just going to click unlock at the top i'm going to go to filter details and blur and i'm just going to blur this like this and i think i'm also just going to put the opacity down a little bit like this and then i'm going to click on file save and I'm going to save this, so like this. And now I'm going to open it in my thumbnail. So here's a thumbnail example that I made a while back. I am just going to import the star overlay. And right here, it's at the back of the layer, so I'm just going to drag it on top of everything. And what I like to do so that the stars are visible over the text is click on this little tool right over here. This is a masking tool. And you're going to click on polygon and then just click and make like a little box around the uh, stars. And once you have made an entire box, click on the transform tool and then press command X or control X if you are on a Windows computer and then just press command V and then just put it where you want it to go. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the bottom stars because they are a little bit above the text and you won't be able to see them once we put the layer under the text. And just like that. Next, I'm just going to merge these 
the three layers that I made by clicking on the three dots and then pressing merge down. And I'm going to do that for all of the layers that I want to connect. And then I'm going to drag this behind the text and you can adjust it um, how you want to. So I think I'm just going to blur it a bit more. And also put the transparency down like this and that looks pretty cute this method can also be applied to other overlays um it can be applied for these slime drips right here but that's basically the entire tutorial thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next video xoxo rainbow Bye.